Sounds of the Sea. So we thought we'd take another look at a fine programme I've discovered uh, this weekend on December the 1st when Warmest Town travelled to Radstock. You see the programme Sounds of the Sea, that's named after a tune that Radstock used to run out on the pitch to, which nobody can remember which band it was or even the words, but they keep the programme called Sounds of the Sea. And as, you go, as I'm going through it, you'll notice it has many features. Lots of advertisements, so lots of companies sponsoring and uh, promoting themselves in the programme. Lots of tables, including the reserve fixtures, the reserve tables, that kind of thing as well. All the stats uh, that you would want to know about Radstock are in there. And a few other articles, There's a couple of articles from the non-league, uh, one from the non-league paper, one from non-league programmes, which are very good, well worth reading. And the other usual notices. Uh, information about away day travel towards the back as well, and you'll see as we get further into the programme. So lots of good stuff in this programme, and I reckon there are 30 companies who are actually advertising in it. So 30 companies, that's pretty good, isn't it? So it's a programme well worth buying, obviously, for the information in it. But of course, from Radstock's point of view, uh, they have got a lot of sponsors in there, a lot of advertisers. So well worth doing it for them. So I'll let you look at it right through to the end. We're getting close to the end of the programme now. Hope you've enjoyed this video and obviously look out for more videos as we produce them for you.